Using the provided link, we will download the zip file for our folder structure, and we will extract that. I'm just going to extract that to my C drive uh, without any other folders, and it will create the designated folders for us. And then we're going to overwrite the configuration setup.cfg that is installed with Open Roads Designer. And just to take a look at the folder structure that was created, you'll see that everything is there and we have a workspace in an organizational civil called ABC uh, Workspace. So you'll see all that in there. Now we may want to rename that uh, to our particular company name and so I'm going to go through and do that. So I'm going to rename the organization config file. I'll just call it XYZ uh, for simplicity right now. Same thing on the folder structure. Those have to match for the organizational civil whatever name the config file is, the folder file must match that. Same thing with the workspaces. If I want to rename my workspace, I can do that. And again, the config file name needs to match the folder structure name. And then lastly, the work set, I may want to rename that. Maybe that's a particular alignment name or job number. So we'll do that. Now, when you rename your workspaces, that still has to point back to the organizational structure name. So we need to go modify that configuration file for our workspaces that we changed. So I'm going to edit this file. You can just use Notepad if you want to. That's fine. And we just need to put in the revised organization civil uh, name. So we're going to change this to XYZ Consultants. And we'll save that change. So now that's going to point back to there. And then the last thing we want to take a look at here is the configuration setup.cfg file that we overwrote when we unpacked our zip file. And so let's open that up. This is going to tell us where that folder structure is. And so in my example, I pointed to C colon. If you want to put that somewhere else on the server, you can. Just don't forget the trailing slash. And so you can modify that as needed. Now let's go ahead and open this up, make sure everything's there. So we'll go down to our custom workspaces. You'll see XYZ Workspace and XYZ Workset. So we have all of that implemented correctly.